Hey, what's going on, everybody? I hope everybody had like a good weekend. Mine was very eventful. We had a lot going on, always staying busy. There's always a lot to do, especially with the friends, family. I tried to not work much on Sunday, but I mean, I'm editing the vlog today, this vlog, so I guess that's considered work, but I, I try not to do much work in general, period. the outdoor living. Uh, last week is really nice. Picked up a new client out in Connecticut uh, through route of Boston. So uh, my friends and family were teasing me about the, the airplane thing. They said the vlog was more about the plane than it was about the work. Hey, it is what it is. I, I like the design and I like to travel too. So whenever I get a shot to show all that, I'll show all that is what I like. It's who I am. Today's vlog is more of design review. Picked up a project, I think I posted, a, I may have posted a picture on Facebook or in, via Instagram if you guys are friends in there, but it's a project we picked up about two or three months ago design-wise. Very, very, very hard project. And the reason why I say it's hard because it's a log cabin home for they're actually taking the home and they're going to turn it to like more of a re resort style airbnb so where friends families and people like that could come together as a group and rent it out and it's more like a resort style setting so it has a swimming pool the outdoor space and and here's here's the catch to the whole log cabin home she wanted a modern design now have you ever seen a modern log cabin anything Because of this modern log cabin style, it created a real big struggle of coming up with a design concept. I mean, a serious struggle. There was just some, some, some times where I just couldn't design. I would just sit and stare at it for hours. I would turn on the design software and just kind of look at the whole thing and figure it out. And I slowly, slowly, slowly start coming up with the structure. One thing that you gotta understand about modern, the word modern is style, modern architecture, modern design. It's a lot of square rectangles. When you see, mo you see square angles and round stuff, you're looking at more contemporary and contemporary is sort of the architecture of now, sort of what you're seeing now so you can see so a lot of people kind of mix modern and contemporary together as one the neat part about this project is the yard slopes up the hill so i was able to to create a negative edge swimming pool or reverse negative edge which is like an infinity so infinity edge swimming pool that has like a waterfall and i was able to use the top slope of the yard as the top of the swimming pool so it rises about three feet up in the air so the main swimming pool area is three feet up. And as you go to the back of it, you can see this, the yard goes higher. So I elevated that a little higher. I sort of like a room, more like a living room. It has a kitchenette, not grills, not anything like that. I'm um, just a refrigerator, a place where they can put cabinets and maybe a kegerator that can be added later. Natural gas fireplace that sort of has a stucco filling around and not matching the stone to just kind of differentiate it. I put a pavilion and two pergolas uh, and they're sort of like a trailer style pergolas that go on both ends like two dog leg one you can sit up top and kind of hang out and look over the area the other one's an area where you can kind of lounge sit on some couches if you don't want to sit on the fire feature area then you step down to the main deck and we uh, extended it wide several steps down to the fire pit area that's right off of the negative edge but also you can jump right into the swimming pool in that area the project is more rectangle the total project the rectangle but the yard is not it's like around trees and everything around it so i had to soften it up with some plantings that kind of go into those areas with more uh, low-lying plantings that can handle low shade like um pasta ferns things like that was implemented inside of this design there's a lot going on a lot to explain I, I think the 3d does a lot better explaining than me telling you i just want to get you guys the essentials of it uh -huh. 